Uh, what do you think of Brexit? Um, I think it's not the best idea <laughs> for the British economy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you tell me, what did you think about Brexit? Oh, uh, actually, I think that wasn't a good choice for both sides. Uh, so I always think that uh, if you are um, uh, going to uh, do things together, it's always uh, the come out is better. Yeah. What did you think about Brexit? I think uh, it was better that uh, England was uh, in Europe. What did you think of Brexit? I think the British didn't do themselves a favor there. Yeah. I think it, I, I have family uh, living in, in Great Britain in England and um, yeah. Really? It's, yeah. yeah. So it's, uh, it's not making things easier. But the English uh, economy is uh, quite suffering. Uh... But at least Boris is gone. <laughs> Hello, my name is Michael Lambert and uh, today, well, today I'm doing something slightly different. I am actually deep behind enemy lines in, in, in the heart of the uh, evil empire. I, 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 I'm in the EU, I'm, I'm actually in Germany. I'm in a city called Aachen, uh, very close to the border with, uh, with Belgium. Now the reason I've come is that you will probably have heard and we're hearing all the time from politicians in, in, in the UK, conservative politicians, how no matter how bad things are in the UK, they're worse in the EU. And uh, I also see from the pro-Brexit comments I get uh, to my videos, uh, a lot of people saying, oh, the EU is going bankrupt, Germany is in recession and, and uh, the whole thing is collapsing and we're, we're, we're out of it. Well, obviously this is all nonsense and uh, I, I decided to come here and have a look around and uh, I see for myself just how how bad things are, just how desperate things are, and uh, my my impression so far. I've only been a couple of days. My impression is that people here are doing, they're doing okay. There's no there's no great problem here. Uh, there isn't here that sense of gloom in that we have in the UK. Uh, there's not the anxiety that, that that we seem to have everywhere, wondering what whatever's going to happen. I think the feeling here is that they've had a bad time. They, they, they were hit with the uh, the gas prices and and. Uh, uh, and uh, China not doing so well, so exports of cars and things to China will be down. And uh, I think the general feeling here is that things will get will get better uh, before very long, or certainly start getting better. But anyway, let's have a look around, and uh, and you can see see what you think. And uh, a bit like we speak to a couple of people. Tell me, what do you think about the German economy at the moment? How is it doing? I'm not sure. It has been better, but I guess it has been worse also. So. Is it getting better? I have the feeling it is, yes. Yeah. yes. So you're quite optimistic? Yes, I am. Okay. With the economy, um, I think it depends on how wealthy you are. So we do have certain problems, but especially for the lower people in our society, while the richer are getting richer and richer. It's happening everywhere, isn't it? Yes, that's true. So I think we are still lucky to have a stable economy. For example, with our money, inflation hit us everywhere. Yeah. Also, the middle class people. So. Yeah.
you have a shortage of labor here, though, because of so many... Mm, yes and no, I would say. It's, it's, they call it Fachkräftemangel, which basically means people uh, like like a shortage of people without skills. Yes. Yeah. But but for them it also means okay, instead of having sixty applicants, they only have thirty. Ooh, right. And right. That's for them a shortage. Here. Do you pay tuition fees? Uh, no. Well, we have a, a small fee yeah. for per semester, but for that you get, for example, you get the ticket for the bus and the train okay. to get to university. No, for the rest you don't pay tuition fees. No. Okay.
you. How long does it take to get a doctor's appointment? Oh, that's uh, different. So if I want to see like my normal doctor yeah. for like if I have a flu and I just need medication, it's like on the same day, but I need to go to a specialist. I have to wait to three to four months, oh, really? depending on where to go. What did you think of Brexit? Oh, the, I'm not sure uh, if I can make a, a good opinion about that because uh, this is uh, up to the uh, English people why yes. they decided to do so. I think they run in uh, from my side, from German side, so with, with friends we are uh, discussing about. It was uh, some guys in the government who did so and wanted to. Uh, Mr. How is his name? The Brec No, Mr. Johnson yeah. and uh, Farage. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure if it is if my house so status now, but uh, we are not uh, quite thinking about uh, the Brexit yeah. anymore. Yeah. So yeah. it's done. Yes. I don't know what the English people think about that. Very confused. So that was my, uh, albeit rather brief, rather wet and cold visit to Arkham. I'd been planning to visit some towns in Europe for quite a long time. I wanted to go and just have a look for myself. Uh, and uh, indeed, if I get more than 10 likes this video, I'll, I'll perhaps go and do some more visits in different countries. But I, I wanted to see for myself just how, how things work. You know, we're getting lied to so much in the UK. We have ever since, uh, well, for a very long time, but ever since the, the referendum, the whole referendum was a lie and Boris Johnson's whole premiership was based on lying. Uh, Sunak's just as bad, he's a liar as well. And we've been told by the Tories all the time about how, how much worse things are everywhere else. So, so, so it can't be so bad that we're, uh, our, economy, our economy, our society is collapsing because it's worse everywhere else. Well, I can tell you now it isn't. I can tell you it isn't. You might well say, well, in three, just three days in, in Germany, how can you, how can you really get much of an idea well i can even get a pretty good idea just walking around a town i've walked miles and miles and miles talking to a lot of people i only filmed a few of them but i spoke to lots and lots of people there's a sense here i think that uh, they, they, they know they're in recession there's a sense that things are a bit a bit difficult but that uh, they will get better germany's particularly badly hit by the russian uh, invasion of ukraine and the the gas supplies uh, but they're a resourceful and, and fantastically powerful manufacturing nation. And uh, uh, I think, as I say, there's a, there's a sense that they're going to recover. I think as regards Brexit is concerned, there's complete and utter bemusement. I think they just, just, just think we're absolutely crazy. And of course, there's every reason to, to think that. 
And I was just thinking, and I'll wind up this, this video with this. Supposing it had been Germany that had decided to leave the EU uh, instead of us. Supposing we were still there. Supposing we'd had none of the disruptions that we've had, none of the loss of trade we've had, none of the millions of hours spent uh, uh, arguing and uh, bringing in regulations to make trade more difficult. Suppose none of that had happened and we were going along fine. And instead Germany had left. And supposing in so doing they had put themselves behind uh, trade barriers which made it very, very difficult for them to deal with everybody else in the EU and had made it virtually impossible for small and medium-sized businesses to deal with anybody else in the EU because the rest of you wouldn't want to be bothered with German bureaucracy. And supposing at the same time they made it much more difficult for big firms to, 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 to deal with the rest of the EU because again a lot of extra bureaucracy which they would had, had to had to cope with and have to pay for. And supposing at the same time the Germans have said, well, we're not leaving you, well, uh, we don't want any EU workers coming here anymore. They can come on equal terms with people from all over the world. And so if you've come from Spain, you've been working here for years and years and years. Now in the future, you'll have to apply for a visa and you'll have to pay a lot of money for, 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 for health insurance and so on. And uh, you'll only be able to pay, a certain, say, a certain time. You will bring a dependence, da 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 It'll make it very much more difficult for Europeans to come and work in Germany. And so millions of people went home. And then they start looking in, uh, in Africa and in the Far East for replacements because their economy was really badly hit by the fact they had a shortage of workers. And supposing as a consequence of all this, uh, businesses were doing badly and uh, the government was in chaos because it was spending so much time, so much time on, on, on Brexit that they didn't have time to, to run anything. Uh, and so you're social services for the producers. So you had millions and millions of people, first time ever waiting for hospital appointments. And so you had the care uh, sector in, in chaos, uh, hospitality sector in chaos. You had shortage of workers in agriculture, shortage of workers everywhere. I, I, everything gradually descending. You know, we would look at that country, we'd look at Germany, think Germans are mad, they're insane. The whole world would look at them and say, these people are absolutely, utterly crazy. And yeah, we did it. And we've been told all the time, take back control, take back control, control. We're in charge now. And I think it's when you look at it that way around, it just, because Germany is very much part of the uh, EU, it is joined physically, whereas we were always detached. Somehow or other, we tend to look at it as, well, we're, we're separate. So, you know, leaving was, was a, a, you know, an option and uh, we know what it's led to uh, and as I said I think uh, uh, the future for us particularly this year is going to be so so difficult and it's so unnecessary and so much time is being spent on on, on, on little boats and uh, uh, and you know we had this thing with the uh, the pint pint bottles of of wine and what Earth, does that mean? It's, it's, it's a country that's gone crazy and we have this little man jumping around, flying around his helicopters and his private planes and making little videos of him buying shortbread or mince pies to give to poor people. This pathetic man who hasn't got a clue running in the country into the ground. Uh, and uh, Secretary of State for International Trade talking down to us, telling us we don't really understand. The woman who's brought up Nigeria, she's telling us we don't know. She knows what's good for us, and we don't. It's, uh, it's tragedy. Things will change this year. They'll get a lot, lot worse. We'll have a new government, but uh, uh, I, I, I wish we were like, <laughs> I wish we were like Germany. Anyway, uh, if you've watched this far, thank you very much indeed. I will, as I say, try and make some similar videos if if, if, uh, if, if anybody likes them and uh, so until next time thank you for watching it bye for now